Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your Morning Market Alert for Friday, December 9th. Stocks on Wall Street are set to recoup much of the ground they lost yesterday. Investors continue to take their cues from Europe as the summit of EU leaders continues in Brussels. Overnight, all 17 nations that use the euro currency, plus six others in the European Union, agreed to an amended treaty that enshrines tough new fiscal rules. The deal also calls on European countries to make an additional 200 billion euros available to the International Monetary Fund, and it aims to make funding from the European Financial Stability Facility available more quickly in order to help bail out struggling nations. Separately, the European Union voted to admit Croatia as its 28th member. The new treaty was not unanimous among the 27 countries currently in the European Union. Hungary, Sweden, and the Czech Republic reportedly have not yet committed to the fiscal compact, and the United Kingdom outright rejected the deal, saying it was not in the country's interests. Prime Minister David Cameron said that the treaty does not protect the single market and other British interests. Conservatives in the UK have been pressuring Cameron not to form tighter fiscal ties with the rest of the EU, as has the country's financial services sector, which dominates London's economy. Amid all this wrangling, the European Central Bank revised its estimates for GDP growth in the Eurozone. The ECB now sees an expansion of 1.5% to 1.7% this year. And in 2012, the worst case scenario is a contraction of four tenths of a percent versus a maximum of 1% growth. ECB President Mario Draghi said the downward revision for next year reflects weaker confidence and worsening financial conditions due to the sovereign debt crisis. European investors are applauding the progress made overnight in Brussels by EU leaders. Frankfurt's DAX index and the CAC 40 in Paris are both up nearly 2%, and the euro is gaining ground against most of its major rivals in the currency markets. Right now, it's moving back up toward the 134 mark against the U.S. dollar. The new treaty is also helping to reduce borrowing costs across the eurozone. Short-term interest rates on Italian and Spanish government bonds are falling, along with French and Belgian debt. And the prices of German bonds are falling for the first time in four days. Meanwhile, the relative weakness in the U.S. dollar today doesn't seem to be dampening investors' appetite for commodities. Crude oil is holding steady at around $98.50 a barrel, while gold is rising above $1,720 an ounce. Financial stocks are likely to lead the rally on Wall Street today. Ahead of the open, Morgan Stanley is leading the charge with a gain of 3%. Bank of America, Citigroup, and Goldman Sachs are all rising about 2%. But one big stock decliner in the pre-market is Texas Instruments, down more than 5%. The chipmaker cut its sales and earnings forecast for the current quarter, citing weak demand across different markets. Texas Instruments is facing a drop in orders from the communications infrastructure, industrial, and, com and consumer electronics sectors. But one bright spot is mobile computing where strong sales of smartphones and tablets, including Amazon.com's Kindle Fire, are boosting revenue. That's the latest from Weiss Research. We'll be back after the opening bell with all the market-moving news, including the latest data on international trade.